All right, so here we are. Welcome back. The whole gang's here, including Tom, who's videoing us right now. So I want to tell you real quick, our resin of choice is Echo Poxy. This is Flowcast. It is a two-to-one ratio. Remember in all the other videos I've told you about having a phone back here so you can see that light very accurately. Tom, give him a shot at that table. Look at what we're working with. Go on and send it down there. Look at that guy. So that is what we are working with. We are ready to go. And here is our one of our colors of choice, okay? This is a blue Maui. Check that out. That's going to be super sick. We are going to mix that guy with this metallic blue glitter. So really cool colors here. We've got the... Um, We've got the slit going in it that we're going to fill up. This is all really going to come together be really cool. So we're going to get you tuned right in. We're going to show you everything. We're going to go ahead and get started. And right as we get ready to put the pigment in and stuff, we're going to bring you back up to speed and show you what's going on as we're doing it. <laughs> Prettiest blue I ever see. We're going to ready to pop this right down in here. Metallic glitter, I mean the works. It's a blue Maui mixed with a blue glitter. They're all metallic, and I mean, this sucker is banging. Hello, bowling ball. Right in a slit, too. Check this out. What did I tell you? Look at that. You don't think we're gonna have some fun with this? Now this is pour one this is pour one. So we got a ways to go to fill this guy up. And look right here in this slit. There ain't even no resin in here because it's totally separated. We've got it blocked off. We're gonna pour that guy separate. It's gonna look like a really cool stream feeding right into the mainstream and kicking right back. We're gonna bring it right back when we fill this guy up again. Here we go. Come here and get that whirlpool up here, Tom. Check that out. Right up there. Coming out that stream. Look at that. Look how it just spits right out of there. We're going to get all these little slits to all these little guys right here to fill in. Look at that. Bing. All them little guys. Watch this.
Now, what's going to happen is just because this is clamped down right here, this is going to try and sink because it will flow under, but it will stop at some point in this perimeter. We just wanted to go on and get a nice little section in here. It's going to clog up a lot of those pores and stuff in the wood, but this is pretty much where we're at. Look at our mark. Our mark right here is an inch and a half. So I'd say we're about three quarter right now filling up where we need to be. So we've got more pouring to do. We're going to spritz this guy. We're going to bring this guy to life. Everything's already filling in. So it's going to be really cool, really pretty. All right, we're back. Y'all know it's mass time. Got to be prepared. We don't want to breed another stuff in. Check it out. I'm going to get you flipped around. So we're getting ready to pop on this isopropyl. We got a really cool... Check it, 91% isopropyl. I've got a little mixture of some goodness in there, just so you know. <laughs> so, take this for me, Tom. I didn't test it yet. Thank you, brother. Mm -hmm. All right, just because we don't want to breathe a bunch of this, that's the whole point with the mass. So here we go. Check that out. So, the whirlpool, that little explosions. Look at that, how that just pops right in there, okay? We're going to get rid of all these air bubbles. We're going to pop this real good. And we're going to make sure it's the same token we're not breathing it in. Look at all that magic right there. See how all that just transformed. What's going to happen is we're going to start creating a bunch of cell effect in here. Once we do the cell effect, we can move through here. We can pull this. We have plenty of working time, no doubt. We're going to use the torch for anything on the surface. We're going to take care of all these bubbles, and we're only halfway there. All right, so check it out. We are done for the evening. We don't want to pour too much, too thick. I know we could have poured a little thicker. We've got a mark, though. You're only supposed to pour up to a half inch to an inch and a half with this particular product. I know you can pour more than that. Three, four inches, we're kind of married to this flow cast. We really love it. So we work with it. So it's best to keep it right about an inch, little under, we don't have to worry and risk about overheating, anything like that. But just look at that guy. Just look at him. So we're happy. We're going to end the video right here. We're going to see y'all back. We got to let this sucker dry. We got to let it dry uh, about 48 hours or so. We want it to be real good and tacky. Then we're going to come back over here and we're going to fill this up the rest of the way. Uh, we won't risk overheating. It's change of seasons right now in Kentucky, so it's drastically getting hotter out here. Humidity, everything plays a role, so we just don't want to have the concerns of overheating and smoking. So with that being said, like always, thanks for tuning in. This is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous top when we get this sucker done. We'll see y'all back real soon for the next one.